Well, Wendy Ross joins us once again in the show, and Wendy, uh, weather stole the show today. It did steal the show. In fact, I'm giving myself an A+. Plus. Yeah, you deserve it. I think so. Well I think so. You know, once the fog lifted today, we saw nothing but sunshine. It was absolutely beautiful. Temperatures right around that 80 degree mark. Imagine a lot of people returning to the oh, beach golly. today. Oh my gosh, if you weren't outside today, this is what it looked like all day. Again, once the fog lifted, we just saw nothing but beautiful conditions. And these are the kind of days you want to remember in June, July, August, and September, because this was the most stellar weather that we could hope to have. And as you can see, today's highs were right around that 80 degree mark. If you were away from the water, a little bit warmer than if you were right at the water's edge. So Bradenton, Sarasota, Venice all in the upper 70s for highs and then you can see that east we saw temperatures mostly in the low 80s and right now we've got temperatures in the 70s once again along the beaches 74 73 72 all the way down through Venice and then Boca is reporting 74 degrees once again you move east and you're looking at those temperatures right around 80 degrees still and everyone is reporting fair skies right now so things are beautiful right now however a dense fog advisory will be put out at around 10 o'clock tonight when we're going to start to see that fog moving through and then by tomorrow morning that fog is going to lift we're going to see plenty of sunshine once again kind of a repeat of today and then we're looking at those temperatures at right around 80 degrees once again so the fog and the wind is going to be coming on through during the overnight time period but starting at 10 o'clock where it'll start to make its way on shore and then beginning it overnight we're going to start to see it moving on towards the east and then by sunday morning it begins to come back out and moves out into the gulf of mexico and we are going to be left with beautiful conditions for the rest of the day we do have a cold front that's well to our north across the southeastern part of the country in the tennessee valley with low pressure moving on out into the atlantic this front does not come here we are not going to see it the rain isn't going to come on through as a matter of fact it just sweeps on out into the Atlantic high pressure is going to prevail for us and so that means another day of beautiful sky conditions and as you can see once again here's our future cast showing that all of that rain will continue to stay away from our area we've had a couple of showers over the northern Gulf of Mexico but they're really falling apart as they get close to land and they are not coming here we're not going to be seeing rain overnight. We're not going to see rain tomorrow. It's going to be another beautiful day across the region. So if you are taking advantage of the motorcycle events, anything to do with outdoors, you won't be sorry tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So for our future cast, you can see that we're going to start to see these clouds sl slipping on in. And these are low level fog clouds that are going to be moving on through. This is the fog that's going to be moving on in. And then it's going to start to move in farther to the east. And then it starts to recede once again. So sometime during the morning hours, we're going to see it moving right back out into the Gulf of Mexico. And we're going to be left with some beautiful sky conditions. There's a, st a dense fog advice from 10 until noon but it's going to be mostly out of uh, out of here by the morning hours so we're going to see it moving on fog then sun the Gulf water temperature 75 degrees so do be careful if you're heading out to the beach because you will need some sunscreen dense fog for the overnight time period and for our seven day forecast we are looking at some beautiful sky conditions for the rest of the weekend after the fog burns off Remember, Monday is the holiday, still beautiful with temperatures warming up, and they're going to continue to warm up all the way through the middle part of the week. Thursday is our only chance for any rain, and there's only a 20% chance of rain on Thursday. Adam?